Welcome back to Alter Lister. Airbnb is definitely not the only accommodation game in town. Here are some of our favourite sites like Airbnb to get you started, which includes a couple of curveballs that you might not have expected. Number 1. VRBO First up on our list of Airbnb alternatives is VRBO, otherwise known as Vacation Rentals by Owner. Whilst perhaps it's not as well known as Airbnb, these guys have over 1 million properties on their books and have been operating since 1996. That's a full 12 years longer than Airbnb. The VRBO model is a little bit different though, as they only rent out vacation properties. This means it's not a hosted experience and generally works best for families or groups of four or more who are looking for a slightly longer stay although there are certainly many properties suited to couples. Originally, VRBO didn't charge guests a service or booking fee, passing this to the host instead, but they changed that in 2016, adding a booking fee to bookings. Otherwise, the products are fairly similar. Airbnb offers a slightly slicker user experience, but it is much more popular. If you can't find what you're looking for on Airbnb, then definitely give VRBO a try. And if you're a property owner, VRBO have two different models. Either you can pay an annual fee, or you can list it for free and pay a fee per booking. Number two, booking.com. Remember when people stayed in hotels and someone would come to make your bed and clear your room? Sure, we love apartments, but every now and then you just want a good hotel. And the best place generally we found for getting a great deal in any hotel anywhere in the world tends to be booking.com. But what you might not have realized is that booking.com also do homes and apartments. So if you're already a fan of the site and want to keep using it for your apartment bookings, then you can. They're normally our go-to choice for hotel bookings when we travel. We find they have a great choice, the site is easy to use and the prices are usually the best. So it's definitely worth trying for your apartment hunt too. And for property owners out there, it's free to list on booking.com, with a fee applied for every booking. Number three, Home Away. Home Away is the parent company to VRBO, as previously mentioned. So as you would imagine, there is a great deal of overlap on their listings. Though there are some differences, as Home Away does have a bit more inventory on their books, particularly smaller apartments, meaning you get a lot more options if you're traveling solo or as a couple. While there is some overlap between Home Away, VRBO, and Airbnb, it's not as much as you might think. In 2014, only 6% of Home Away properties were also listed on Airbnb. That number has no doubt increased by now, but the bottom line is that if you restrict yourself to Airbnb, then you are missing out on a lot of great properties. HomeAway has a similar sort of booking model to VRBO, and you can either pay an annual subscription or you can pay um, per booking. Number four, FlipKey. FlipKey is owned by TripAdvisor, so even if you haven't heard of FlipKey itself, you can rest assured that this is no sort of fly-by-night setup. Like the majority of Airbnb alternatives, it has fewer listings. It currently has 300,000 rentals across 11,000 cities. But with that said, Flipkey doesn't offer shared rooms. It's private rooms or whole properties only. Flipkey has a nifty search feature where you can search for properties that meet certain criteria, such as pet-friendly properties or waterfront properties or even properties with a mountain view and so on, which is pretty neat if that's what you're after. It's also free to list your property on Flipkey. Number five, Homestay. Homestay is what Airbnb is supposed to be. It's a genuinely, it's a genuinely hosted experience, meaning you always stay at a host's home. This means you get a real local experience without the feeling of living with a local. We've used Homestay in locations around the world, including Paris, Savannah, and London, and have always had a wonderful experience. It is worth mentioning that there are a few downsides to homestay. The main one being availability. Whilst they have properties in over 150 countries, they don't have the choice of somewhere like Airbnb. For example, if you tried to find accommodation in New Orleans, um, 
There were hundreds of locations on Airbnb, but there's less than 10 on Homestay. Of course, the number of the properties that are available is always growing, and there are a great many listed on Homestay that you just won't find anywhere else. And in addition to this, all Homestay properties tend to include breakfast, which is a serious win in my book. And finally, if you're a property owner, it's also free to list on Homestay. And thank you for watching. If you have any similar sites like Airbnb, please comment them down below. And also share your experiences with us if you've used any of these sites. I look forward to hearing from you. And remember to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.